quiet corridors and unused lockers. Our children continue to count the cost of this pandemic. This week, Ulster Grammar School in the West Midlands told a third of pupils, over 300 in total, not to come in after a handful tested positive. Out of nowhere, we suddenly have 12 cases in a matter of days. When we contact trace, those 12 cases have taken out over 300 of the remaining 900 students in school. And that fact is half of those in years 7 to 10, those not in the sixth form. So a huge impact came out of nowhere um, and there are a lot of quite um, disgruntled and irate parents and frustrated students. Teachers say at least in lockdown they could plan online lessons. In some ways, this is more disruptive. This empty classroom would normally be hosting a year nine biology lesson, but the teacher is self-isolating, as is the whole year of 155 students because of a mini outbreak of seven cases. Across England, 375,000 children are not in classrooms like this because of COVID-19, and only a fraction of them actually have the virus. Parents who've been forced to isolate their children are frustrated. My daughter's isolating at the moment. She's not happy with it. She's year 10, so she's quite concerned about her GCSEs and how what form they're going to take. She's doing her lateral flow testing twice a week, so we're confident she doesn't have um, COVID at the moment. The government's considering bringing in a new system that it's been trailing in schools such as West Horton High School in Bolton. Rather than bubbling and sending whole groups home if someone tests positive, instead, schools will conduct a daily testing regime on those who've been in close contact. We've saved in that time over 350 what would have been lost days to isolation. That's over 500 students and staff who take part in, 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 the, in the clinical trial that allows them to come into school in the morning for their daily lateral flow tests and twice in that period of time a PCR test as well. Uh, receive their results negative in our our tent and then go and take part in lessons as normal. The government says it will decide in the next few weeks whether to roll out this programme for the autumn term. We'll look at the results of the trial um, and we'll make any decisions will be announced before uh, we make a decision on step four going forward. But, you know, we have to do everything we can to minimise the risk of transmission of this virus. They are the least vaccinated section of our population and therefore the path of least resistance for the virus. But as the wider population becomes ever more protected by the vaccine, the argument grows that disruption to school life can't continue. Jason Farrell, Sky News.